Welcome, Gemini and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition giving you a general love reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box. If you ever want to skip ahead, please know that time is fluid. That means this may resonate for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation if it does not resonate. And even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. What is the overall energy, please, Spirit? What needs to be known, seen, and understood? This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus, please, Spirit. The Ace of Cups. The Ten of Swords. We have the Star and the Sun. So, you could be dealing with a Leo, an Aquarius. We have water here, a little air. I'm feeling something very specific here, Gemini. If this is not your reading, please don't force it to fit. No, this was maybe meant for someone else this week. Okay, check your other placements. Um, something has ended in your life. Uh, and again, past, present, future. I feel like a relationship has ended. And it is paving the way for a soulmate to come in. Whether you, maybe you've, some of you have already met this person. But this is about your happiness, your wish, and your healing. Um, this is new love. This is new love for you. Okay, this is something that, you know, you have desired, a connection like this, an emotional one. I don't feel like you're in a place where you absolutely need love or have to have love. But, you know, you want it. You do want it. You hope for it. Some of you are manifesting it. Some of you, this could strongly get, like, we have Pisces energy. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I do get strong Pisces energy with the two fish here on this card. Uh, this is a deep emotional connection between this person and you. Okay, like you sense it in your soul, in your heart. Uh, I think some of you are kind of shocked at how quickly your, your feelings develop for this person. Especially after heartache, pain, betrayal, hurt. Some kind of painful ending took place here with the Ten of Swords. This could be getting out of a toxic relationship, your side or theirs. I do get predominant Gemini energy though. So some cross are always welcome here. There may be some of you, but for the most of you, the vast majority of the collective, I do feel like this is in regards to Gemini. Uh, leaving behind a toxic situation from the past. You have been doing a lot of healing, okay? Um, also, I want to say soul searching, kind of identifying things in yourself, uh, healing old wounds, okay? This is about wish fulfillment dreams. Taking care of yourself, prioritizing your needs first. Aquarius energy here. Now, the star, this is, I feel like you, okay? The star is somebody that people are very drawn to. You know, male or female, she is nurturing, she's kind, she's healing, you know, she's someone very beautiful very driven people are drawn into that energy like a magnet people just seem to come to you they confide in you they want to be around you they whether it's friends family co-workers love interests people very attracted to you physically but also emotionally spiritually you have a lot to be learned from you you have this amazing ability i'm seeing like a phoenix rise up from ashes you have this amazing ability to kind of we be reborn, you know, after a tragic situation, come out stronger. I feel like you are pursuing after a period of healing, you're pursuing your dreams, your your goals, you're making plans for your future. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's coming out of a dark period. It comes after the moon. So it's coming out of this dark period where you don't really know what to expect and you're moving forward with confidence happiness, a smile on your face, holding your head high, no longer sitting in a place of fear or pain. It's coming out of that stronger than you were before. Feel like you have your place in the world, like you understand things now. It all makes sense. For your stone today, I was specifically drawn to angelite. So some of you may want to look at the properties of this stone and use it in your own meditations. We're going to look at your person's thoughts, their feelings, intentions, and potential actions towards you. I also want to thank you guys so much for your support here at the channel. Thank you for sending donations. It is greatly appreciated. It does help me to buy um, spiritual supplies, decks that I use here on the channel, um, crystals, sage, etc., coffee. <laughs> um, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I am truly so blessed and grateful for all of your love and support. All right, their thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards you. Two of Swords. They may feel like you're at a crossroads in your life, or they may think that about you. They don't know how you feel about them, 
or you could be dealing with a Pisces Cancer. I do strongly get that here. Very strong Pisces energy, uh, as well as Aquarius Leo. This person, they're waiting for you to make a decision to pursue them or to open up to them. This is an emotional energy. They have emotions for you. There's a lot they haven't said about you. Uh, they may be waiting for you to recover from something or seeing like you've been through something. They're not sure. They're not sure yet if you are ready to move forward. They see you that way. There's a lot of emotion here, that, or they haven't got the chance to express how they feel yet because they know that you're going through something, that you've recently ended something. They want to make sure that you're ready. They're looking for signs from you, potentially, uh, which way to move ahead, how to move forward with you. I love this card. It's so beautiful. There's an energy here of like speaking your truth. It's emotional. What are their feelings towards you? This could represent their fears, their desires, their feelings towards you. What's in their heart? Decision. How to, they're conflicted about how to talk to you. What are their feelings for you specifically? They feel like you have choices or decisions. Or they feel like a part of you is holding back from them. They feel like they need answers. They may feel that a part of you is 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 intentionally trying to be guarded with them. Like you've been very focused on self, which is not a bad thing, especially after a major, uh, may, maybe a painful ending. It's like you you hold back how you feel I feel like this is in regards to how your ex may feel they haven't let you go they're head over heart I'm gonna you know I'm gonna ask specifically about the new love and the ex because I do feel like this is what this is in regards to I feel like this person they can't get you out of their head they haven't let you go they they're conflicted. They don't know. They, they want you in their future, but they don't think that you want to take them back. They feel like you've gone cold to them. This person could be kind of controlling or manipulative, narcissistic. Uh, they still want you. They don't, they don't want to let you go. They want to, like, keep you to themselves. They don't want to see you move on. Let me ask specifically what the new love feels about you. intentional but um, they feel like what they feel here is that you have left behind a situation and emotionally you're no longer invested in it and they have a lot of emotion for you okay strong water energy Pisces Cancer Scorpio this person has a lot of love for you but they're waiting for their chance they're waiting to make sure that you're fully recovered and walked away from something uh, with temperate Sagittarian energy here, they feel like you've been really taking the time for yourself. They have, they feel like you're very healing for them and really balancing for them. But like I said, they have a lot of deep emotions for you. Okay. Let's look at this ex's intentions towards you. I think that's what's important here. We need to understand what, what spirit wants to show us here. What is the ex's intentions, please? They want to come between you and this person. They still want you. I get like a really narcissistic energy here. Like somebody who just like, they want, they want, they want, they don't give. They, they take as much as they can. Um, I feel like this person, like, look, at this, this, look at this dude's like smug grin. It's like they get joy from like making you unhappy. They don't want to let you go. I don't feel like that even matters to you. I feel like you're happy doing your own thing, healing, moving past this, putting up necessary blocks, protecting yourself, healing, recovery, moving forward, happiness. This person still wants you energetically. They still want you. But like you're standing your ground, Leo energy there. Yeah, reaching for new beginnings, Aries energy over the full. Let's look at the intentions for the new love, please. Intentions for the new love. Hey. 
strong Pisces energy or an air. Um, you may be younger than them, this or there could be an age difference here, or children involved, but they're looking, they're, they're holding back because they're looking to see what you are, what's going on. Like if there's someone else still involved. I don't feel like there is, or they're waiting for something to clear out of the way because I see new love here and I see a potential for this and I see you being happy with this person. Uh, but I feel like a part of this is held back because they want to know that things are fully cleared out of the way they, or they've been waiting for you to, to finalize something or end something so that they can move towards you without any kind of like uh, issue of reputation or news or gossip possibly. What actions could you expect from the ex, please spirit, from the ex? Queen of Swords. This person may use their words, like they may like try to contact you or get through to you and, you know, say a lot of crap. They may be a little hot headed or hot tempered. They may even try to, if you have, if you have children with them, they could use them to try to manipulate the situation or like, I get, for those of you with kids, I kind of get like the ex being like, it, 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 has she moved on? Like, is she dating someone new? Like telling the kids to be like, well, dad said, <laughs> like that, like just being a butthole. <laughs> um, but I feel like there's like a mystery about you that drives this person crazy. They still want you, but they're they're like still holding on to you, thinking about you, wanting to apologize. But you like you're like blocking this person out. You're tired of like investing any time into that anymore. Let's look at your new person's act. This is, I know this is confusing, but I feel like this is important. What is this new person? See, they're not really doing anything major. You know, it's like they're just like gossiping or like, and I don't even think it even matters to you. I feel like you've just moved on, blocking this person out. It's like in one ear out the other, like you're just not even caring. What is this new person's actions, please? Oh my. So, yeah. <laughs> this person's an emperor. This person. They're in control of themselves. They're they're making promises they intend to keep. Very different from the past. Opening their heart to you. We've been waiting a long time for this, and now it's finally here. Will of fortune. Good luck. Good fortune. Things turn it in your favor. Here you are, single, independent, confident, successful, ambitious. Goals, dreams, drives, plans for the future. Nine of Pentacles, and here they come to give you number ten. A completion. There. They're coming to present an offer to you. Okay, they're just, they've been waiting to make sure that you're ready. They, that they're giving you space and time to make sure that you're ready. And anything from the past is fully closed out. Um, looking for signs from you that you want this. You're having a new start with this person. This person is very different from your past. Look, there's this an age. They could be a lot older than you for some of you. So they get like a page and an infer type of energy. Or they're just very mature. Look at this. In regards to the past person, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in your present moments. You forgive, but you didn't forget the past person. Okay? It's like, I forgive you for me so that I can move forward and I can heal and peace out. Have a good life. <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? It's like, bye. Um, but they still want another chance with you. I don't feel like it matters. I don't feel like it matters. They're just, they're mad and jealous. Their panties are in a wad because they can't have you. That's basically what it boils down to. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You're done with it. You don't want anything from the past. You're moving on to new, new love, new, new romantic offers, new offers and stability. Absolutely beautiful. New, 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 new. Don't care nothing about the past. You have a good life. Peace out. Bye bye. <laughs> Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, engagement here. You're moving forward. You attract romantic love by enjoying this fully a past life relationship. We've known her before. Some of you, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Love yourself first, okay? Some of you, this could be a past life soulmate, somebody or someone that you had like a missed opportunity with, but you're attracting new, you're manifesting new. That you've you've called in an emperor, someone who's truly like, in control of themselves and can give you sincere offers that you deserve. This is a beautiful energy, very different from the past. Um, definitely let me know in the comments if this is your story. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for sending donations. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Also, be sure to check out my new channel. I'll link it in the description box below. As always, I'm wishing you guys strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.